What is up guys, PCHD here, and today we've got an episode number 9 of Making Hacking Fenwar Famous. Now, in the background, you can see what team we are coming up against, but if you are looking to buy coins, go and check out UT Coins for you. A cheap and reliable place, one of the cheapest around at the moment, so go and check them out. Use Beach, BWCH, to get yourself a 5% discount on the checkout. So, if you remember at the end of last episode, I had 35k to give away. I went and gave away that on Twitter, like I said I would. Um, this episode will be back to normal, so we go 1-0 down already, 8 minutes in. 1-0 down. We need to smash 300 likes, by the way, guys, to try and get that giveaway underway that you'll see at the end of the episode, so go ham on that like button. And you see we just went 2-0 down, which is going even better. And this episode is an absolute... This episode is the worst for me, personally, in a long time, due to just the results, the, the goal scorers. It just did not go to plan at all. You can see we're missing simple chances. We're ma making really stupid mistakes like just then. You can see any shot just bobbles wide, luckily enough for me. Uh, we go 89 minutes in, we get our final chance kind of come in and it isn't even much of a chance because we just boot it. You see, he's booted it straight into my opponent, nothing comes of it. And we lose that game 2-0, which is, you know, not great. That's another loss uh, in the series. So we go and pick up Ings, as you do know now we are buying one of the best possible uh, championship sides. And then we come up against this, which every game now we are coming up against full gold sides. And... The good players now, because we're in we're in Division Seven, like we're a couple of points off game being promoted, and I'm just uh, it's just so hard now, guys. I need like some leverage. What I am considering doing, I do need to know. Like let me let me know in the comments. Am I allowed to start putting an attribute card on Akin Fenwa? Just because you know he's not really going to be able to score much anymore in terms of you know he's got a 45 pace against a Premier League defence like David Luiz and Hummels and whatever you call him. He does grab his first goal of the episode there though. I managed to put 5,000 coins in the giveaway pot. My opponent comes straight back 20 minutes in and just rattles the bar. Luckily enough for me, I was able to get that away as soon as possible. And I come close again, but his keeper makes a very nice looking save. 37 minutes in is what we're going to skip over to next. You can see I'm just going chilling with Ings is wobbling through the defences but unluckily he's getting the ball back and then boom such a nice little pass through and then you know from that we managed to start the counter attack was on Emmanuel Thomas plays through Akin Fenwa who's 1-1 one -one with the keeper and he just boots that over the bar that is annoying that could have been a simple dink especially with the current form we are on uh, again you know he goes through he grabs a corner goal what, what do you want me to do I, there's nothing I can do about that there against like a gold like PK or someone like that. It's just, it isn't fun for me. I really need to, you guys to kind of help me find out what I can do to start winning or something. Whether I can use these attribute cards, whether I can do whatever, just because this isn't very fun. Um, other than that, we go on 77 minutes in, where we have a little chance. I can Fenwar just misses it and then boots it wide. He has an open net and boots it wide. There's... The, it, the frustration levels were very high last night when I was playing this. We go and pick up Daikite, I hope I've said his name right, for 1,400 coins to fit into our championship side. And now the chemistry is becoming an issue because I need to start building this championship team and it's not going to be a full English one. Anyway, we come into the final game and look, and yet another gold team with some quick players. And Aki Fenwar is not going to be able to outrun Barzagli and Chile and Orobate in his defence. So... It isn't going to be a great game right from the off, you know. But we go through with Emmanuel Thomas. Seven minutes in and boom. We managed to go 1-0 up. All looking good for me so far in this game. Got, got the upper hand. He goes through 33 minutes in. Nothing else has happened till this point. He just puts it over. So we're going to think, you know, my luck is getting better and better. But from a goal kick, I pretty much kicked it to him. And he goes 1-1. And that kind of like brought reality back, you know. He's, every team I go against is trying to win. So, you know, we go on 61 minutes in and he's just clipped it wide, you know, nice little save. He goes through 72 minutes in and of course he's going to get a rebound, he's going to score an open net and that's going to frustrate me even more, but I don't know what to do guys. It's just so hard to get a win. This is the first episode that we've gone without a win. We do manage to grab ourselves a draw though as we score in the 86th minute, but either way that's two draws and a loss in an ep this episode and that is not good at all, you know. Even though we are still allowed to like upgrade the players, it's just frustrating for me. And I think I need to, you guys, like I've already said, to let me know what I can try and do to fix it. So you can see we just need two more points in Division 7. 
uh, with two games left. So we'll try and do that next episode. We go and add ourselves a right midfielder into this one, which is going to be Ings as soon as it decides to load up. Uh, which eventually will, just because you know he's quick, he can link up with a couple of English guys I've got in here already, and he looks fairly decent, you know, shot and dribbling wise. So, you can see we are about to have up the Akin Fenwell giveaway pot, which is 5,000 coins, which isn't a lot at all compared to normal episodes. I don't even know if that's worth giving away. I will still give it away if any of you guys want it down in the description below. All you've got to do is follow me on Twitter at BeachHD. And then drop a like on this video. It needs to get 300 likes, guys. You know, go ham on the like button. And then just answer me the question in the description, in the comment section down below, which is going to be name your top 11 players from the Barclays Premier League that you think will get a blue team of the season card at the end of the season. So just put in the in the comments, all as one comment. You know, goalkeeper, left back, right back, centre back, or however, whatever you think it will look like. Other than that, guys, do hope you have enjoyed the video. Remember to drop a like and subscribe to me, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye bye.